Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome to another Paintings to Product video. And today I'm going to show you how I'm going to turn this painting into a gift bag for a 5x7 greeting card. And I will add all the dimensions, all the measurements and all the details you might need to remember in the description box down below so that you can refer back to it. So for, to begin with, for a 5x7 card, you will need a painting that is 11 and a half by 8 inches. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn it over. There's no scoring, there's not even any cutting to do. We're going to use our greeting card as our guide for our fold. And what we're going to do, we're going to place it in the centre, like that. And it doesn't matter which way you start. You can start with the left hand side, you can start with the right hand side, you can start wherever you like. And what we're going to do, we're going to fold it over. I'm going to start on the right because that's what most people tend to do. And we're going to fold it over to where the card comes and we're going to give it a nice sharp crease. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do the same on the other side, like that. So then you will have a piece that overlaps and that's the important bit. That's why you needed that extra inch. You do need that to overlap, otherwise it won't be a bag, it'll be a gap. And then what we do, we open it out and for a moment we take away the card. So now we have our folds which hopefully you can see quite nicely. And what we're going to do, we need to score and fold nicely along the, this time I think I'll start on the left. And what we're going to do, I'm going to use a tape runner. Now if you're going to use a tape runner, try to see if you can find a red one because this is like the red line tape, it's permanent. If not, use double sided tape. And what we need to do, we need to run the tape, can you see that? Yeah, I think you can, right the way along eventually. So that will go along there quite nicely, just along the edge, that's all we need. And then what we need to do, we I shall take this side, whichever side you do first, just fold that side down, but at the moment, don't put anything on the back, because if you do, it won't be a bag and it won't close. But then what we do, one, the piece that you folded down first, that's the time you use your glue and or your tape runner. And I'll give you a tip, don't try and gauge it on there. Turn it over and run it down the inside. So we're going to run it down the inside of the open flap here. And we're going to give it, give it a good dousing, so to speak, a good coat of tape because we don't want it lifting or coming off. And then what we do, bring it back to the centre and we fold it over, make sure that that overlaps and then make sure that that any tucks. This is on cartridge paper incidentally, I should have told you that before. But again, I will add all this in the description box. I put this on cartridge paper. I've done heavyweight cartridge paper. You can use the lightweight if you wish. And that's really all there is. So there we have our bag. And then all you've got to do. Now, I'll give you a little tip. These dimensions, this side, is really for something, a card that is relatively flat. Because if you've got dimensions, you will need to make it a bit longer. This one is 11 and a half inches. But if you've got a card with dimensions I'd make it a couple of inches extra to accommodate those dimensions and then all you do this is a card I made oh some time ago now and then all you do is that card should fit she says if I turn it around so that I can see what I'm doing when I did this off camera it worked beautifully that's right and it goes in quite nicely and sits down there you can push it all the way down if you want to, you could add a little extra decoration, you could add a finger lift at the top here if you want to. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave my card or my bag just like that. So you've got a very decorative bag on the front. Okay, it doesn't quite match up on the back and you can see that seam. If you want to cover that seam with another strip of paper or perhaps another little painting, perhaps another tree like that or whatever, you can if you want to, but it's really not necessary. Or if you're really bothered about it, just make this a bit longer make it another I'd say about three inches so or maybe a couple of inches two three inches no let's, let's just quickly measure that then I can give you the proper measurement I'll move that up a bit yeah if you make it another two and a half inches extra so we've got eleven and a half so if you're really bothered about that line make it thirteen and a half and make this extra bit come to the corner 
just come to the edge. So, but if you're not, if you're not bothered about that, just keep it at 11 and a half by eight and that will sit quite nicely. But it's when you have it on that side. Now, if you sell your cards, having it in a nice little bag like this, especially if you do something similar on the front to what's on the card, that will make a very nice presentation. So if you sell your cards on your website or at Etsy or wherever, and when we're allowed to, to have craft fairs again, that would, look, that would be a real eye catcher. So I hope this has helped you to create your own bags for your greeting cards and maybe given you a few ideas of how to turn your paintings into products. And I'll be back in a couple of days with another Paintings to Products. The fun never ends on this channel, does it? So I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for joining me. And in the meantime, until we meet again, have fun, take care and happy crafting. Bye bye for now.